Alright, for the moment of truth. Okay. Okay, I, I don't know how I feel about these. Hey, what up, money baggers? Welcome to another sneaker unboxing. You guys have been supporting these videos so, like, so much. The Vapor Max videos got way too many views. I don't even remember how, how much it's got. So, thank you guys so much for that. But right now, I'm, I'm just excited. I want to keep on doing this today. Today we got the Nike Kyrie 4 Black History Month edition that came out a couple days ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Again, I, I'm excited. You guys been loving these videos, so I'm gonna keep on giving you this, this beautiful unboxing content. Let me make sure everything looks all right on this camera. All right, so, oh. Oh, the box itself is already different. You know, you got that gold. Let me just get my info out of the way. You never know in the internet who's watching, who be, who be creeping on you. But anyways, here's the box. As you can tell, there's no Nike logo. You just got the Black History Month engraving there. And then let's go on and see around. Okay, you got the size and the model, of course. Then nothing else here, really, at the bottom. And just more gold engraving with a bunch of logos, a bunch of branding. All right, for the moment of truth, let's see what's up. Oh, okay, they're, they're already peeking, bro. They're already peeking, they're, they're like in a the corner, they'd be sneaking a little bit. Okay. Okay, I, I don't know how I feel about these. I think these, in contrast to the Vapormax, these looked a little bit better on the photos. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not digging them yet. Nike trying to push for that equality movement. Let's go ahead and get the other one out. Okay, okay. Nothing else in the box, that was really it. Let's go ahead and get the, the box and the paper out of the way as well. He goes, oh, you guys should have seen that. You got, it landed perfectly on the other box. That was, I'm, I'm the GOAT. All right, here, here they are. Let me get this, this knife out the way. Here they are, Kyrie 4 Black History Month edition. I don't know why I keep looking at the bottom. I get the bottom, I gotta admit, the bottom is like the highlight of it because you got the, the three different colors. Nike said it was supposed to represent I'm not sure, it was some, some um, African flag. I apologize for not fully knowing what it, what it was. But let's go ahead and get started with the details. So right off the bat, again, over here at the top, you got the golden Kyrie logo that has been on the shoe since the Kyrie one, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. On the inside of the shoe, you got the Kyrie signature right there, right at the bottom. Then over here in the back, you got a little bit of leather as well, like over here in the tab at the... Oh, actually, look at this. It's got like a Illuminati sign over here right on the leather part what the that's weird i've never seen that on a shoe before so that's uh that's a first then over here on the side you got an h plus h on the inside of the right shoe as well as on the green uh green part of the sole you got uh, the date 81367 with the name elizabeth and then on the other side of the on the left shoe i mean as well on the green side you got the jby initials and then the date, 11-23-15, Azzurri. Azzurri? That sounds Italian. Italian, my friend! <clears throat> and then at the bottom, like I already showed you guys a little bit earlier, you got this zigzag type of pattern that runs across the, across the bottom of the foot or across the bottom of the sole. But then over here by the heel, number 11 right here, it's high. Isn't, isn't that his number at, at the boss at Celtics? Right, I totally forgot what Kyrie's number was. It is number 11, so it is at the bottom of both shoes, right there in the heels. And then you also have, I just noticed this, I, I'm not going to be able to show you guys on this shot, but it says fear is not real, right next to the number as the, as the pattern curves at the bottom. And then also you got the Kyrie logo at the very end of the heel as well. And then of course the equality written all over the shoe or over the the top part of the shoe. But anyways, there you guys have it. Nike Kyrie 4 Black History Month edition. Tell me in the comments would you cop it or would you drop it? I honestly, again, I'm still on the side about it. Again, you guys saw in the previous videos, I really like the other shoes. I really you know, felt them right away, and this one's just not growing on me yet. But yeah, guys, once again, thank you so much for supporting these videos, and I hope to see you on the next one. And that's it for today. Once again, you guys are the best. Pass money bags.